Hi, I'm Alex Sinek, and this is the guy's musical encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's word is coloratura. Coloratura. It is a fast melisma, very common in the Baroque period, but you know, also used in the Classical period or in the Romantic period. Um, coloratura is when you um, add so many ha 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 in the syllable that you forget what word you're singing. So, for example, in uh, Handel's Messiah, the opening tenor aria, which I sang many times, has uh, some coloratura in it. Shall be exalted. This is coloratura. Okay, and I prefer to do coloratura, doing little, um, punching a little bit my diaphragm. So I do all this effect. I um, kind of enhance it with little punches from my diaphragm. So, ha 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 There are different ways of doing coloratura, and different voice teachers will teach you differently. There is not a right and a wrong way of doing it. It's like the um, the bow in in the the string section. They don't. The bow is not written in the score. The coloratura is not written. What what do I mean by the bow is not written in the score? You don't know if the bow is going up or down. Okay. Usually the spala of the orchestra decides if the bow is going up or down. Not even the conductor. Usually the spala decides, and then. Uh, it's the same thing with coloratura. The, the, the composer doesn't write down, I want you to do coloratura this or that way. He writes the notes down and you choose the way you're doing coloratura. Okay? Uh, another example uh, Rossini's The Barber of Seville, the Count's aria. E corridente in cello. This is coloratura. Cello. Okay? So when you do these this um, melodic melisma quickly, it's called coloratura. Some people call it also fioratura. It's the same thing, little, yeah, little flower, fioratura. Okay? This is the guy's musical encyclopedia. I'm Alex Ineco. Have you subscribed to the channel? Please do so.